Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here again, and this is 1-2 uh, for geometry, and it's on measuring and constructing segments. So let's do a quick review of what we uh, talked about in the last section. We have a segment, and we can label our segment AB. So if I have point A right there, point B right here, segment AB goes from A to B, and I can put any point in between so it, it connects A to B and all the points in between. And then we've got a ray which has an end point. So let's say that this end point is P and it goes in this direction towards Q. So it would go towards Q and it would continue on in that direction forever. And we would say P is the end point. Um, and in here, the way they wrote it, A to B, I can continue it on this way like that, and that would be if I wanted to do the A to B one. Opposite rays, they share uh, the same endpoint, so they share a common endpoint. So suppose that this was uh, X right there, X to A, and then say X to M. So X A and X, M would be opposite rays. Now, here's the new one for today, length, and that's just the distance between two points. So this is the length of AB. Now, we don't know the length of a ray because it goes on forever. So when we talk about length, it's just between two points. So we will specify it could be on a segment. Then we've got these terms, and let's explain what these mean. A postulate. Some books, the older books, used to call it an axiom, but now you'll see it as a postulate. This is something that is accepted to be true. So we accept this to be true without having to prove that it's true. It's like a rule. It's a definition. It is the way it is, or things won't work out correctly. So math is full of a lot of postulates, and these postulates make every part of math work. Now, we have postulates about points, we have postulates about lines and planes and other geometric properties. There, are, In geometry, you will learn a lot of different postulates. Now, as I said before, a postulate doesn't have to be proven. You accept it. So what does have to be proven, though, is this next one, and this one is a theorem. So a theorem is a rule, but it's something that must be proven. So usually a theorem is the result of a postulate. I'll give you a postulate and say, oh, because of that postulate, I can also say these other things. So we can prove it by going back to other postulates, other definitions, other rules, and possibly other theorems. So a theorem has to be proven. Postulate, you don't prove theorem. This one, you have to prove it. That's the difference between the two. So let's talk about our first postulate. This is the ruler postulate. And this one is pretty straightforward. Um, if I read the definition, it might confuse you. Um, so the points on a line can be matched one-to-one -one with real numbers. With the real numbers. The real number that corresponds to a point is a coordinate of that point. The distance between points A and B written in B is a distance value of A and B. So wh wh what does all this mean? Well, that means on a ruler, I could put point A, I could put point B, and call this a certain distance. So I can make a ruler, basically, to be able to measure things. I could say, this distance, as long as it's consistent, is going to be 1. And in our case, we use inches, which I don't know why. We should definitely go back to centimeters. Um, and you've probably heard all the reasons uh, of our standard of units that we use with uh, inches. And it's... Honestly, it means nothing. On your index finger, there's a particular from the from your finger, the first knuckle, to uh, the two knuckles on your finger. That is an inch on everybody. So, so right here is what I'm talking about. This distance, um, let me get the pointer, from here to here on your finger, just about on everybody, is an inch. Go ahead and measure it, and you'll see. 
Um, so we came up with these weird systems, and it was a king that did this. And I can get into more detail of this later, but basically that was an inch. And it took 12 of those to make his foot. And his stride was a yard. And the end to part of his castle was a mile. And it just so all these numbers were arbitrary, meant nothing. Whereas um, in the metric system, we kind of were consistent with what an inch is. Uh, I'm sorry, what a centimeter is, what a meter is. And everything is based in 10. So you don't get these numbers where you got 12 of these make up one of those. Three of these make up another one of those. 5,280 make up another one. So we don't deal with that because we just go in tens, and it just makes more sense, but the U.S. has not converted over, and we'll, we probably, I'll be honest with you, we will never convert over um, just because we, we can. Just because we can, because we're stubborn and we can. Um, anyway, so the ruler postulate just says you can measure however you want, and that's what uh, we do. Now, a construction is, right down here is where I'm looking, a construction is a geometric drawing that only uses a compass and a straight edge. No rulers whatsoever. So if I were to construct um, something, I would use a compass and a straight edge. Now, how to construct congruent segments. This is a whole separate video um, I'll, I'll link it to you later, but basically you would take your compass, you would open it up to these two ends, and you draw, you use your straight edge to draw a, construct a line, and I'll do a different color, so I will construct the line right here, just make one huge line, and then based on my compass, because I've opened it up to this distance, I pick a point and I go to there, and I will arc it through, and this will make congruent segments. So that's how we do it with a compass and a straight edge, which is a construction. Again, those are different videos, and I'll have those posted for you guys. All right, moving on to what we have next. Let's um, make this a little bit bigger for us here. Okay, so right here we have the segment addition postulate. For the segment addition postulate, it just means that I can take two segments, add them up, and I will get one larger segment. So in this case, I'm adding up from A to B and B to C, and that'll give me my full segment from A to C. So AB plus the BC gives me the full AC segment. Now, this is a postulate, and it has to be a postulate we have to be allowed to add these up to make sense. So that's why this is a postulate. So I'm gonna do a couple of these examples for you that I have here, and then these student journal ones right here, we're gonna do these in class. So let's take a look at the couple examples that I have for you here, um, that say additional examples, and let's do these. So for the first one, it says find the value of x. Now, this is using that segment addition postulate. I know that if I add up this piece plus this piece, I'll get the full 18. So x plus x minus 6 equals the 18. So 2x minus 6 equals the 18. 2x equals 24. x will be 12. And now you can go ahead and check that answer, and you'll see that it works. Okay, for number 2, it says... AC, from A to C, we'll say that that's point A, um, is congruent from C to E. All right, so those two are the same lengths. B is the midpoint of AC, so this right here cuts AC in half. I'm going to go ahead and use a different color. Um, so this cuts AC in half, and C to D is 2, and A to B is 3, and we need to find everything else here, basically BC, AC, and DE. All right, well, if this is 3, this, we were told, is the midpoint, so that piece will be 3. And since AC equals CE, so from A to C, that's the same as C to E, we know that this is 6, so this piece will be 6, so then that piece must be 4. So that leaves us with BC as being 3, AC as being 6, and DE as being 4. 
Okay, the construction, like we said, was a whole separate video, so you can go ahead and link into that, and I'll explain that and show you those links in class, or you could just check my YouTube channel and you'll see the links for the constructions or my website. So the rest of these examples, like I said, these student journal ones, we will do in class, and um, we'll keep that at there. So hopefully this helped, and thanks for watching, and make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.